the fish better known as Nemo than clownfish, is today's clownfish. The orange and white stripes on its body make it look like a clown's costume to most people. In the West, they're known as clownfish. It is also called anemone fish because it lives together with anemones. In Korea, it is called clownfish because of its characteristic white vertical stripes on its body. Clownfish live in symbiosis with anemones in shallow coral reef waters. Normally, a single anemone is home to a group of clownfish. There's something unusual about our friends, clownfish families are strictly matriarchal. She's the biggest one, and if she dies, one of the males in the group switches sexes with her. This is because it's more advantageous for one of the males in the brood to switch sexes on his own than to find a female elsewhere. They are known to lay 700 to 800 eggs at a time, but the hatching rate is quite low. Clownfish are also immune to the anemone's venom, making it possible for them to live in symbiosis. The mysteries of nature are amazing, aren't they? The bald eagle is a bird of prey and the national bird of the United States. It is the national bird of the United States, appearing on most government symbols, including the U.S. presidential coat of arms. Its popularity in North America is immense. Even in South Korea, the bald eagle has an incredibly high level of public recognition. In terms of size, 
It is second only to the California condor in North America. It is around 80 to 90 centimeters at rest, but it can reach up to 2.3 meters when it spreads its wings. It is said to be relatively friendly to humans. They build nests on skyscrapers and accept food handed to them by humans. With its strong eyes and attractive appearance, it is used to symbolize a strong America. Unsurprisingly, it's one of America's favorite animals. But there's also an uncomfortable side to the national bird, the bald eagle. Bald eagles have been known to bully weaker birds and intercept other prey, and being chased by crows, among other un-American behaviors. In fact, there were attempts to change the national bird during the presidencies of Benjamin Franklin and Roosevelt. However, they were unsuccessful, and to this day, the bald eagle is the national bird of the United States. South Korea also has a bird whose image is diametrically opposed to its actual ecology, the magpie. The bald eagle has survived several attempts to remove it as the national bird. In the US, urbanites who don't get to see the bald eagle's actual ecology are still enthusiastic about the bald eagle's good looks. And the bald eagle is still used in publicity to symbolize the US government. It seems unlikely that the national anthem will ever change.